Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So in this video, ay sasagutan naman po natin ang items 119 up to 122 sa ating Max Civil Service Examination. 119. Present ages of Samir and Anand are in the ratio of 5 is to 4 respectively. 3 years hence, the ratio of their ages will become 11 is to 9 respectively. What is Anand's present age in years? So, as usual, extract muna natin ang mga given data. So, present ratio of Summer's age to Anand's age is 5 is to 4. And the ratio of their ages 3 years from now is 11 is to 9. Now, let's assume Summer's present age be 5x years and Anand's present age be 4x years. Ibig sabihin nito, Summer's age 3 years after is 5x plus 3, and Anand's age 3 years after is 4x plus 3. So we have 5x plus 3 is to 4x plus 3 equal to 11 is to 9, and this is our new ratio After three years, and please take note that this ratio can also be written as 5x plus 3 is to 4x plus 3 equal to 11 is to 9 by cross multiplication. So we have 5x plus 3 times 9 and 4x plus 3 times 11. So we have 9 times 5x. And that is 45x. 9 times 3, and that is 27. And this is equal to 11 times 4x, and that is 44x. 11 times 3, and that is equal to 33. So ilipat lang po natin ang 44x dito sa kabila, and this will become negative. So we have 45x minus 44x plus 27 equal to 33. Now, 45x minus 44x, and that is equal to x. At ilipat naman po natin itong 27 dito sa kabila, and this will become negative. So we have x is equal to 33 minus 27. So our x is equal to 6. And as what we can see, Aman's present age is 4x. Therefore, substitute lang po natin ito dito. So we have 4 times 6. And that is equal to 24. Therefore, a man's present age is 24 years. And that is letter A. Next, question number 120. Ayesha's father was 38 years of age when she was born, while her mother was 36 years old when her brother, four years younger to her, was born. What is the difference between the ages? Of her parents. Now let's extract all the given data. Ayesha's father was 38 years old when she was born, and Ayesha's mother was 36 years old when her brother was born. And please take note, na mas matanda si Ayesha ng four years kaysa kapatid niyang lalaki. Now. Since alam po natin na mas matanda si Ayesha ng 4 years compared sa kanyang brother, therefore, the father's age when Ayesha's brother was born is 38 plus 4 years because the father was 38 years old when Ayesha was born. And as we all know, Ayesha's mother's age is given as 36 years when Ayesha's brother was born. So now let's find the difference In ages between Ayesha's parents. Now, to find the difference in ages between Ayesha's parents, we have to subtract father's age when Ayesha's brother was born and mother's age when Ayesha's brother was born. So, forty-two minus thirty-six, and that is equal to six. Therefore, the difference in ages between Ayesha's parents is indeed. Six years, and that is letter C. So next question number one hundred twenty-one. 
how many of the integers between 110 and 120 are prime numbers. Quick review muna tayo. Ano nga ba ang isang prime number? So, when we say prime number, it is a positive whole number greater than 1 that has exactly two distinct positive divisors, which is 1 and itself. In other words, a prime number can only be divided by 1 and itself without leaving a remainder. Let's say for example, 5. 5 is considered a prime number. Kasi ang pwede lang po nating i-divide kay 5 is 1 and itself. Or 1 and 5 lang. Considering na yung result is still a whole number. Ngayon, balik muna tayo dito sa ating problem. Ilista muna natin kung ano yung mga integers in between 110 and 120. So, di ba ito yung mga integers in between 110 and 120? Ngayon, alin ba dito yung prime numbers? The correct answer is letter A. Isa lang po sa kanila ang prime number, yung 113. Kasi yung 113 is only divisible by 1 and 113. Or, it is divisible by 1 and itself. Ibig sabihin nito, yung 111, 112, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, and 119 are all divisible not only by 1 and itself. At ang ibig sabihin po nito, kapag yung isang number is meron pa siyang other divisors other than 1 and itself, that is considered a composite number. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So now let's proceed with question number 122. Which one of the following numbers is divisible by 3? Choose the letter that corresponds to your answer and feel free to pause the video. Ang gagawin lang po para malaman natin kung yung isang number is divisible by 3 or not is to add up or to get the sum of all the digits. At pagkatapos kung yung sum is divisible by 3, then that number is also divisible by 3. So, dito sa letter A, let's try to add all the digits. 2 plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, and that is all equal to 35. Ang tanong, ang 35 divisible by 3 ba? Hindi po. So, ibig sabihin nito, this number is not also divisible by 3. Now, dito naman sa letter B. 2 plus 8, and that is 10. Plus 7, and that is 17. Plus 6, and that is 23. Plus 4, and that is 27. Plus 5, and that is 32. So, ang 32, divisible by 3 or hindi? Hindi rin po. So, ibig sabihin nito, letter B or this number is also not divisible by 3. Dito naman sa letter C, 4 plus 6 plus 2, and that is equal to 12. 12 is divisible by 3, since 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4, and 4 is a whole number. So, this also means that this number is also divisible by 3. So, let's try if this number is really divisible by 3. 4,006,020 divided by 3. And that is equal to 1,335,340. So therefore, this number is divisible by 3. Kasi yung result is a whole number. At ang ibig sabihin nito, the correct answer is letter C. And lastly, letter D is not also divisible by 3. Since the sum of all the digits of this number is equal to 29. And 29 is not divisible by 3. By the way, sa mga humihingi po ng PPT ng ating mga videos through a private message sa ating official Facebook page, to tell you honestly, yung mga videos po natin, hindi po yan PowerPoint presentation. This is purely edited through a video editor. And that concludes our video. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.